Do you want wearable blue eyeshadow without having to wear blue over your entire lid? Do you want blue eyeshadow but don't want the typical 80s look? Then you should keep watching. And I basically want to do this because I like blue eyeshadow. I really do. It's just I cannot pull off blue eyeshadow all over the lid or that really pretty aqua blue that so many people can pull off. I just think it looks really silly on me. It just I just can't wear it. It doesn't look wearable at all on me. So this is for the people who really like blue eyeshadow and want a a wearable look. And if you can see in the video the outside all of this, this isn't brown and this isn't black. This is all a really dark blue color. And I got that because my shirt is a little dark blue and black. And yes, we have one of my favorite colors, which is raisin, on the lid. And I just wanted to show a really nice way to blend them. And I put on false lashes, which I hardly ever do. So yeah, keep watching. First I applied primer potion all the way to the brow bone and the lower lid. Next, using a flat shader brush from EcoTools, I applied Raisin from Palladio to my upper eyelid. Notice I'm doing this in a padding motion as opposed to sweeping it across. Next, using a similar brush, I'm going to use a dark shimmery blue color from my Perfusion 77 Color 1 palette and pat this to the outer corner of my lid. I'm going to slowly pull this up into my crease without ever re-dipping back into the pan. This is important because you want your outer corner to be darker than your crease. I applied a light peach from the same palette as a highlight to the inner corners using a Face Secret Small Concealer Brush. You can get this brand from Sally's. Using an Essence of Beauty crease brush, I put Raisin on my lower lid. I smudged the dark blue in the corner of my lower lid as well using a smudge brush. Using the Natural Beauty Eye Contouring brush, I blended the dark blue to my brow bone. In the meantime, I also used this brush to blend the two shades on my eyelid together. Next, I just used the gold to warm up the crease. You can skip this step if you want to, it's not that important. To help my brow highlight stick a little better, I'm using a concealer as a base. After blending it with the same crease brush I used before, I'm using Beauty Strokes Highlight Blender Brush to apply Palladio Champagne as my brow highlight. Using that same Beauty Strokes brush, I'm applying Raisin right between that highlight I just applied and that dark blue color in my crease. Don't forget to blend it. I'm going to do my top liner with the Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner Pen. I like to make my liner really thin towards the inner corner. For my outer corner, I like to make a small hollow triangle and fill it in. I like to wing it out just a little bit, but not enough to consider it a cat eye. After curling my own lashes, I applied a cheap brand of false lashes. Just a tip, while waiting for the glue to get tacky, roll the lashes. This helps give them a more natural curve and makes it more easy to apply them. You 
you want to get the false lashes as close to your natural lash line as possible. The closer they are, the less noticeable. Now all there's left to do is wait for the glue to dry. And you're done!